No way. I was totally not expecting to see this. My favorite part about making these videos is that I get to see cool new areas of the city that I probably otherwise wouldn't have gone to, so thanks for that, everyone. Immediately after heading out today, I was already appreciating Shenzhen's separated bike lanes. Not dying on my bike is actually one of my personal favorite hobbies. Most people don't know that about me. So you can imagine I was having a pretty great time until they just ended. Yeah, I'll admit it. Sometimes you do end up on streets where the line is blurred between bike, car, and walking lanes. But to be fair, unlike LA, it's always on the streets that are just so crowded that cars can't whiz through and put people at a huge risk. And these streets are also good for just being filled with cool stuff. So I dropped off the bike and just continued on foot. Sometimes, like in this case, the streets are so cool that I forget I'm looking for a luck in coffee and find myself walking down random streets and then going, oh, hey, look at that new coffee shop. We should stop in and get a, c uh, oh, right. I even almost stopped off to get some new bras and underwear till I remembered I already have plenty of street underwear at home. Oh, cool, there's even a prison here. Oh, wait, that's a school. All right, back on track. I went through this old people park. I'm not sure what it is about these spaces, like, go to any regular park and you'll find people of all generations there having family fun time, exercising, or doing whatever else. But these small park spaces, like in between streets, all old people, playing cards and doing that thing that kind of falls on the border between exercise and nothing. This park even had a library vending machine. That's dope? How do they choose what books to put in there? Not a lot of space. All right, getting close to the Luckin now. I'm in what I guess could be considered the fashion district. Looks like the Luckin's probably inside this mall here and... Damn it! I've been here already. Part six, Coconut Smoothie and Neo episode. How am I so bad at navigation? Well, guess I gotta find a new location. Luckily, there's another one close by. And it's further into this fashion area, so I guess that's a win. The buildings here are actually even starting to feel more fashion-y, kind of like the LA fashion district. You know, the old warehouses with like modern but fashion-y shops downstairs. Aw, oh, hey, check it out! This Luckin' looks dope! Except the fact that it's closed! What is with my luck? But wait, there's drinks outside. After talking to the guard outside, he told me that this Luckin' is super popular and it's just closed for the holiday. But the drinks are from people ordering from the mall Luckin' that I was just at and then having them delivered here. That's awesome! But it seemed rather strange that the store would be closed on a holiday, but the others weren't? I was pretty confused until I saw the store number. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Xiao Li and Mark Moon. What happened to no franchises in Tier 1 cities? Steering me in the wrong direction, are ya? Anyway, I went inside and took a look around. And it's not surprising that this location does well. These types of businesses filled with people who are sitting in their shop all day and definitely need a coffee every few hours but also can't leave the store. Luckin' coffee! Speaking of luckin' coffee, I still need to get one. So let's just pretend I got it from this location, but I'm gonna pull out these people and just get it from the mall. It's been six months since I was there last anyway. Let's see if anything's changed. So long, shopping streel. Hey, yeah, this definitely was not an M stand before. And apparently this mall contains happy. Recyclable happy. Uh -huh. Well, nothing's changed about this location. But we've got some new drinks to try. They're ramping up for the Olympics, so they've got this snowboard girl theme going on. So I guess I'll get the Queen of Flowers 5.0 Dirty. I know it's somehow related to snowboarding in the Olympics, but not really sure how. Up here it says, Queen of Flowers Dirty, wish you win first prize in the new year. Well, let's see if this drink wins first prize. There was no choice for hot or cold, and it was served Room temperature? No ice, not hot, just perfectly room temperature. But surprisingly, didn't really seem like it wasn't meant to be that way. 
It was smooth and overall fine. Really not different from their other regular latte. Dirty 5.0 snowboarding edition. New Year first cup. But yeah, it's like it tastes exactly the same as the the standard milk coffee that they have. I think it's the same price too. I think they're just marketing it as like the Olympics 2020 version. Doesn't feel like something new. Very room temperature. Not cold, not hot, and doesn't taste like it was just sitting out. Like they did it intentionally to the point where I'm kind of actually surprised that I like it. I think their marketing is fantastic. I think the results are well, wait, what's that? You're, you're saying you feel tricked because of that intro that I showed? You thought it would be more interesting than that? Are you telling me that a super normal coffee that's no different from any other one isn't interesting? I mean, it could be marginally better, but if you told me that they were exactly the same, I'd believe you. And then if you were like, just kidding, actually one is way higher quality, I'd be like, oh yeah, maybe, I, I think, I, yeah, this one actually is a bit better. But the flavor, either way, isn't different. It's not like it's a different style of beans or anything. Kind of like the difference between, like, Arrowhead water and Evian. They're both plastic-infused water that one may actually be kind of better, but maybe probably isn't, and you're not really sure. But they're both the same flavor. Water. But you know what isn't the same flavor? Check out this Xiaomi Fold. I really can't say I'm a big fan of Xiaomi products because most of the time they just fall apart really easily, but recently I decided to give it a try and I got this mini photo printer and it's awesome! So after seeing some great reviews of this phone, I was a bit more intrigued. And after seeing it in the store, kinda makes me wish that iOS ran on third party- Oh wait, never mind, no time for that, I gotta end the video quickly for viewer retention! Not a joke, actually necessary!